Hey guys and welcome to Orzy Scale. So we have a nice tradition on this channel of comparing the newest LLMs to the rest of them. And this experiment is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 and counting. So in this video we'll be comparing the newest edition of the GBD4 family, which is the GBD4 O Mini, to the rest of the LLMs. We'll be looking at the word counts, at the SEO capabilities, whether GPT-4 O Mini handles internal links, how it processes the prompts regarding readability, and AA detection as well. So stay tuned. So if you've missed the news, if you now go to ChatGPT, you see that there is a GPT-4 Mini, which has substituted effectively the ChatGPT 3.5 model. It's more robust, it's more intelligent than the 3.5. Now, well, if you run out of your credit its limits with the GPT-4 O, you now can switch to GPT-4 O Mini and retain most of the capabilities. So I have a bunch of prompts. Let's test them out one by one, starting with the word counts. And to test all of my models, I'm usually using u.com because it does have all of the models that I've ever tested. And now it has the GPT-4 O Mini. So this is the first prompt. Generate a 2000 word article about, can you guess it? Can docs eat longer? And the only reason we're using this prompt is to see how well the new LLM is going to follow the word count. In most of the cases, it won't. In our experiments, we've seen some of the models that came extremely close. So command R plus got us to 1960. And claw 3.5 sonnet was 1974, which is almost 2000 words. These are the winners. Okay, looks like we're done. Let's go to the word counter. And it's only 999 words. And if we want to be even more accurate, let's switch to markdown to HTML. This way we won't be counting the special characters. So 974 words. So this means that it's not very good at following the word count. It's actually one of the worst. Well, I wouldn't say it's one of the worst. It's average, it's on par with Claude 2. But it's still better than Gemini, Debricks, Llama, and Zephyr or Zypher. Okay, so the next one is my favorite, the SEO prompt. And this is the one-click SEO prompt that I'm using all the time. You can get it in my free ChatGPT library. You have to sign up for my newsletter to get it. So this is the prompt. And all we need to do is insert the links.txt, which is a copy of my sitemap containing all the relevant URLs. Okay. And it's very fast. So it's much faster than the GPT-4.0. Don't see any internal links, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So it's going to have some internal links in the end. Uh, they're not very contextual. They're not inside of the body of the article. But we'll have to count the effort. So at least it's giving us some internal links. And let's go to Neuron Writer. The keyword in question is Does the GLT Writer pass a detection? I have my title and meta pre populate. Wow. So the SEO score is 76. And GPT 4 family type of models are pretty good with SEO usually. So this is 76. And uh, GPT 4 O was 74. And GPT 4 Turbo was 77. At least it's on par. Let me color this in orange. So this is one of the top performing results. They're very close, 76, 75, 77. Yes to internal links. Now readability. And once again, this is a very easy prompt designed with the sole purpose of seeing whether the LLM will indeed write in the expected readability grade. So write a 2000 word article about how to perform a one-arm push-up using simple English at a readability level of grade five. Again, very fast. Hmm. It's actually kind of funny, uh, and this is a pretty long article, so I would say this is around 8,000, and we've gotten 900 words when we asked it to write 2,000. Let's just quickly convert this to markdown, see the word count real quick. Yeah, well, it's actually less than 900, so I stand corrected. But we are actually interested in the readability. So this is grade 4 readability. <laughs> okay, pretty close, I would say. So this is grade four, and this would be one of the winners, I guess. So the absolute winner was Claude 2 and Gemini 1.5 Pro. GPT-4 Turbo came close, but all the other models, even the famous Sonnet 3.5, gave us a readability level of two. And yeah, 
So this is a, a pretty good result. Finally, finally, let's check the same outputs uh, for a detection. We'll be using originality 2.0, scan now. And this is 100% AI with a 100% confidence. <laughs> And I've come to expect this from the recent LLMs. So guys, to sum up, I didn't follow the war account at all. So it was among the worst ones. So don't expect to get huge outputs with one click. It was very good at SEO optimization. So one of the best. It did provide internal links, not uh, to an extent that I would love it to. They were not contextually placed, but still. It was pretty good with readability, terrible with AI. So all in all, even if we compare it with the GPT-4.0, it's actually slightly better. <laughs> so not worse. And this is good news for those of you who've run out of limits for GPT-4.0 or are using the free version of ChatGPT. And yeah, hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.